Uh, first thing I put on the board uh, with force, I told the guys, you know, family talks to family. This is how I feel, so I might as well tell you. And I put Southern on the board. I said, with four seconds of play, that was first thing on my mind because the public and nobody else understands what I already know, your kids. Southern's already gone to Mississippi State, SEC, beat them. Gone to Tulane, beat them. That's on my mind. This one was done. Uh, a lot of plays down the home stretch. A lot of really good plays. Um, and I'm very proud of these guys with their effort. If it would have been a soccer game, I probably would have been happy with a modest tie, but it wasn't. You know, if you'd have told me this morning, 24 seconds to go, Adam's at the line to take the lead, I probably would have taken it. And I look at that score sheet, and there were a lot of different plays, a lot of winning plays for both teams. But in, a, in our world right now, with who we are and how we are built, we can't miss nine free throws. And those are as big a plays as the turnover, the tip in, the three point shot. Those are big plays. And uh, I love those guys. And I think down the road, you know, they're learning from a real pro. Um, I'm disappointed with myself losing my cool early in the game. Thank goodness it only cost us one, but maybe we'd have won by one. So a lot of plays. I said, guys, just look in the mirror. We all have to, including Papa Shy. How and what could I have done even a little better? And maybe the outcome's different. What changed down the stretch in regulation, you think, Larry? Well, what changed for me more than anything was those first five minutes of the game. I thought we were white-eyed, and I, we gave up four of our five first possessions. They scored, scored, scored. From that point on, I think there was a major change. I thought our guys dug in, planted their feet, and took a stand. And if they were going to put their shoulder down and drive, they were going to stay in front and take charges. And I also know we were down 12 with eight and a half, nine to play. And I've been around teams, and you guys probably have reported or seen teams that it becomes 19 or 20 in a hurry. It did not. But. Uh, I think I heard somebody, some coach the other day talk about, well, nothing can be gained from a loss. A loss is a loss. One of the most absurd comments I've ever heard. You know, I'd like to win them all. I don't want my name uh, be, being remembered here about wins or losses or championships. It's how you do what you do. And you know what? These guys did a pretty good job. Um, we're built a little different. I think three weeks ago I talked about what's not going to change, gang. You can ask it to change. We can try to coach it to change. But 185 against 265 is not going to change until Mother Nature takes her course. Um, but I did think we battled. I think we played pretty smart basketball. Very overtime, you know, I think Josh gave you the lead, and then I think they ripped off six in a row, and Matthews had a couple. Was it just, they just made good plays? Was there any kind of um, I wish I could reflect specifically and answer your question, but the plays were happening so fast. I mean, we took two charges, and then Matthews, who hadn't made but a basket for the whole game, knocked in a nice jump shot. But, uh, you know, you have to give Cal a credit, too. You know, they got in foul trouble, and they, too, battled back after they had had a large lead. So I can't reflect on all of those plays. I'd probably have to watch them. But the the totality of the game gave me encouragement that down the road, uh, these pups will be OK. Uh, we're not going to win them all. But uh, again, it's how you do what you do. Talk about uh, right out of the gate, maybe a little wide-eyed, but the one guy who definitely wasn't was Josh, came up firing. Uh, what did you see from him, especially early on there? Early on, he knocked a couple of jumpers down. And that was OK. What I saw from Josh when the game was on the line, he took it to the rim. He challenged them, even with a, a hurt ankle. And I really compliment his balance, trying to attack, trying to drop the ball off for dunks to, to JB and Al, and then knock in a few big uh, Js. You know, knowing Josh, he's really hurt that he missed the shot to put us in the weed. But, you know, he's just consumed with the it. You know, if you could go to 7-Eleven and buy it, you'd want it for your own kids. And he's got that it. You got a couple of kids probably one and done on there on, uh, on Cal and another great senior. I mean, how does he stack up? Uh, does he look like yeah, that's not my job. Him? That's not my job. I wouldn't make a trade. I can tell you that. <laughs> Thanks. How do you think you, you, Aaron's going to make this? Do you think Josh is going to be okay? I know it looks like Justin said he's on knees, but 
seems like it was a physical game. How, how do you think you're going to respond? <laughs> That's another question probably to, to, to be answered in the next 48 hours. We're probably fortunate it's not one of those two-day turnovers because we've had, we've never had more than a practice and a half between a game now for four weeks. Finally, we get an off day Sunday, the rehab. We'll have a better picture Monday, but we don't play, fortunately for us, till Thursday. I got a sneaking suspicion these guys like to compete. And, you know, now they're scarred a little bit, and hopefully they don't like that taste. How important was uh, Jonathan's play tonight going against the bigs? Uh, I think he grabbed two offensive boards, finished with career high 10 points. I guess, uh, you know, what, what were you impressed with by him? What I'm most impressed with is his willingness and will to learn. And he's never been different from day one. You're talking about a guy that has very, very little background. But I got to tell you, he loves physical confrontation. That's good for a big man. Yeah, we gave it a shot. We gave it a shot, and then he gave it another shot the second half, and I made the call and told those guys, get him out. Uh, I just didn't think he could compete at the level he needed to tonight. Uh, it's a separated shoulder or something that they said. And, uh, you know, once he can fight through that pain and help us, of course we're going to use him. But I, I, I just didn't think uh, it was there, and so we chose to go with J.J. a little longer than usual. Yes, yes. Going, going back to Barnes, you mentioned you know, 185 versus 265 would be tough, but he's at 245. He's your big guy. How much do you think maybe you'll rely on him going into conference play once he gets some of these bigger bodies? Well, consistent? you know, he got 28 minutes today. And, you know, he's been averaging about 14, maybe 15. I'd have to look up the stats. I'd like to get him to 20. And uh, he poops out fast. He, he's got a little bit of that Joe Kim Noah no pace deal. So he's just going 100 miles an hour, and then he goes from a nine to a zero quick. And we got to get him out. But, uh, like I said before, you know, I've traded places with guys in the past, with guys that don't have the DNA that fits Wyoming or at least Papa Shai. I am so happy with who we have and who we don't have. Big team like that, um, free throws, you guys got to the line 26 times once more than they did. I know you want to knock more down, but you'd like the aggressive. I, I really liked it. You know, we, we got to the bonus quick enough. And it was a matter, are you going to settle for open J's? And we actually got three or four wide open looks that we didn't make. But I really liked the way they took it to the glass. And, and Josh especially, because we got him wired up with a couple of high screen plays. And he, 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 not, he did not only shot the ball and drove the ball, I thought he distributed it pretty well. And then uh, Justin James, 28 minutes. He's down the stretch. You talk about it doesn't matter who starts, but who's at the end of the game. He's been there a number of times. See some progress from him? We, we did. You know, tonight uh, the, down the stretch was a, a battle of attrition. You know, you got Gorsi who can't play. You got a, a bad wheel with the Josh. You got uh, a matchup problem with uh, Jason inside. And so you're just trying to put together the best way to give us the best chance to win. And like I said, with 24 seconds to go, I put that guy on the line any day, any game.